We are at LA Live, and we're live with my good friend Adam. How are you, Adam? I'm hanging with Harris. You are hanging with Harris. We're at LA Live, JW Marriott, Ritz Carlton, all the one beautiful complex, and the mixing room. Adam, what are you gonna make for me today? Today we're gonna uh, focus on two cocktails that we're running as a special for the Clippers and the Los Angeles Lakers because of our locale. We call it the Clippers Martini and the Lakers Martini. Oh, so it's a Lakers Martini. It okay, is, great. Right? And we're actually, um, it's basically a variation of a sidecar. Okay. We're gonna start off, always like to start off with our uh, least expensive syrup, our least expensive uh, product that's gonna be a little bit of simple syrup. Simple syrup, and why do they call it simple syrup? Because it is simple and it is syrup. It is simple Sugar and, and it water. Is syrup. And the jokes are free, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely, they keep coming. <laughs> About a three quarters ounce of a lemon juice. I like your little in between those two finger holes. That's, that's, that's where the it Adam belongs. Rip, exactly. that's where it belongs. All right, you can flip it easily. So lemon juice, simple syrup, a little Cointreau. About an ounce of Cointreau. Beautiful, sounds good. And we're gonna roll with two ounces okay. of Maker's Mark bourbon. Always good to have a little bourbon. Absolutely. And this we're doing starting off with the Lakers martini here. The Lakers martini. All right, fantastic. Then we'll have to do a little competition against the Clippers, I guess. A little ice. A little bit of ice. And pop that. Would you care? Oh, I do. To shake the first one? I would love to shake. You're gonna pop that right off. You that loosened it. That was so it. easy. You loosened it. I did, I did. I, and my actually, hands are freezing, actually. And we're gonna throw that into. All right, what are we getting over here? A chilled ah, cocktail glass. A chilled cocktail glass. Always important here. Right there. We're gonna strain beautifully. It is a beautiful strain. So once again, Cointreau, a little bourbon, a little simple syrup, and a little, there was a little juice in there as well. A lemon juice, yeah, absolutely. And that juice. actually gives us a really nice kind of golden color. And we're going to emulate the Lakers colors. This emulate. Emulate. This right here is just a uh, combination of literally blue curacao and a little bit of cranberry juice. We do okay. that to make a nice purple color. I'm gonna dip a pipette in there. A pipette, I thought it was a turkey baster, but we'll go with a mini, pipette. Mini turkey baster, <laughs> many, many different uses. And just stick it in there. Oh, look at that. You get a little beautiful little combo Let's there. Do one a little more. more. Get a little bit more purple, yeah. It's actually nice, 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 nice. There it looks go. like a perfectly balanced cocktail, but I should probably try it, right? Game's in play. The game is in play with the Lakers Martini. It's a very well balanced cocktail. You really get a nice nose on the Cointreau, right? Always good on that bourbon in there as well, too. I have to use just a, a really nice medium body bourbon. Yeah, it's actually not too heavy. It's not a real overpowering thing. All right, so that is the Lakers martini, but now need a little competition, absolutely. so we need to move on to the Martini. Martini. martini, absolutely. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Send this right over here. And we'll have a little tasting competition, I guess. All right, now we have our Clippers colors. We need a little bit of red. For red, we're gonna use raspberries. Nice. On a busier night, we'll usually make a syrup, but in this case, we're gonna muddle them. Let's do some muddling. A little bit of simple syrup, about three quarters ounce. Hey, Adam, why do they call it simple syrup? Because it is simple. It is simple. How do you know? How, how have you done this before? I've done this a few times. I'm gonna grab my muddler. Let's muddle. All right, so right away we're just doing some fresh raspberries in the Clippers cocktail. A little red color. I'm gonna grab what a little bit of lime juice, about three quarters ounce. Three quarters ounce. Now is that the Adam uh, Jigger hold right there, so to say? Uh, yes, if you, if you see anybody else in uh, Los Angeles, <laughs> they owe you a New dollar. York, uh, <laughs> Portland, exactly. Anywhere. Cointreau Grab again. a little bit of Cointreau. Three quarters ounce. Beautiful. A little Cointreau. Then we're gonna use, go for our neutral spirit. We're just gonna use some Grey Goose. Our neutral spirit. Two ounces. If I drink it straight out of the bottle, it wouldn't be that neutral for me, at least. Okay. All right, and we're gonna ice and we're gonna shake too. Absolutely. Could I shake that again? Oh, you got it. Doing this once again. Not my first rodeo, <laughs> but I'll let you, uh, do the thing and we need a glass, right? Absolutely. Would you mind? I will not mind. With the assist. A chilled martini glass. Absolutely. I'm gonna strain this one, get all those seeds out of there. See, look at this, it's a little color team competition here. Absolutely. And for this one, we need a little bit of blue. We do need a little blue. So I'm just going to plug the hole on one of these speed pours and actually, which is gonna slow the flow of oxygen, it's gonna allow me to just Kind of little, sink this blue curse out of the bottom. A little mixology chat, slow the flow. A little, a little trick there. Nice. We'll just sorta. All right, let's go over again. What do we just put in this cocktail? Uh, this is raspberries, a little bit of Grey Goose, lemon juice, simple, and uh, Cointreau. And then we just sunk a little bit of blue curse out of the bottom to actually create that kind of gradient uh, for the colors. Give it a little shake and a nice cold martini Absolutely. glass. Absolutely, and I like to just because we have lime juice in here. Yep, give it a little... Uh, Just give it a little twist, give it a little garnish. A little twist of lime, a little That's fresh optional, garnish. depending on how much you uh, you stay true to the colors. All right, should I give that a little... Uh, Please. All right, this is the Clippers cocktail.
Ooh, it's yummy. It tastes actually like springtime in a glass. It's exactly. a nice, smooth, balanced cocktail. Clippers, no clippers, it doesn't matter. You should drink the cocktail anyway. So now I gotta ask, who are you, uh, who are you rooting for? I think I have to try the Lakers one again, though. Let me give one more a little, time? Yeah, we'll give a little tasting test Please. over here. I'm a bourbon man myself. And I'm a bourbon guy too, so as much as I like the Clippers, I'm gonna have to go with the Lakers. All right. Adam, thanks for your we'll, time. We'll grab seats next to each other. We will. All, All right, right, there are your two cocktails, toe-to-toe -to -toe competition. Come to the mixing room at LA Live, JW Marriott, Ritz Carlton, in downtown Los Angeles. Come see my good friend Adam. We'll see you real soon.